Hello YouTube people, today I'm gonna show you rather interesting Adidas Dive Divers watch, the model which are very familiar with already, except this time this model has rather interesting three-dimensional dial, which let me tell you what, in person is actually a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Visually wise, I think this watch comes together really nicely. It's such a strap monster. I actually had so much fun playing with this watch, trying out all kinds of different straps. I just held the camera while I was doing that. So I made quite an extensive fashion show. <laughs> so that's why this video is so long. I also made quite a long loom comparison versus some other watches because loom on this watch is, is rather good. And uh, I also would like to say thank you Adidas Dive for giving me a discount on this watch. I really appreciate that. Thank you for supporting this channel. Now, let's begin with the boring part. Let's do the quality checkup, which I actually, let me tell you what, you can skip. You can use timestamps, chapters, you know, skip the quality checkup because there isn't really anything interesting. I haven't found any problems, at least on my particular example, uh, alignment is good. It's a well-built watch. So anyway, let's do the boring part. Let's do the quality checkup. Okay, let's start a quality checkup with the bezel action. Alignment on the bezel is spot on perfect. The action of the bezel is actually a little bit towards the stiff side of things, but that I like because I would actually trust this bezel. You ain't gonna knock it off the place, but at sometimes it feels a little bit too stiff but this watch is completely fresh it still needs to wear in a little bit but you know what let's do a little trick a little trick let's put paper towel behind let's take this this thing let's add a little bit of lubrication just a little bit just a little bit let it soak in let it soak in. Let's clean off the excessive, the, the excess spray. Let's see how it is right now. Perfect. And it smells nice. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. I love the smell. Okay, let's try again. Let's start with the bezel action. <laughs> now, how is the bezel action? Oh, perfect. Perfect. Stiff enough. You ain't gonna bump it off the place also loose enough so you can actually have some fun playing with it perfection how is the crown action crown is way overprotected with these super annoying crown guards but such is the design so i can't really complain what can i tell you is that there is like less of a millimeter gap between crown and crown guards and crown does not touch them it's very good it's done precisely and nicely crown screws out and back in without any problem whatsoever which is nice crown action is good now let's check the alignment of those hands let's set it on exactly 12 yes alignment seems good now let's try to set minute hand on 45 and let's see if it stays in place yes it stays in place nice the crown ratio is very slow feels really nice now let's see how it flips the date let's move the seconds hand out of the way okay now let's see how it flips the date okay 9 p.m 10 p.m okay at around 10 15 it starts engaging the date 11 11 30 11 45 let's see where it flips okay seven minutes from the midnight not that far not that far nothing unusual so everything that comes to the crown can't really complain about anything how is the bracelet well it has solid links solid and links finishing is not sharp i wouldn't call it very refined i still wish those very corners edges would be a little bit more rounded up but it's not bad i wouldn't call it sharp i definitely feel no discomfort how does it come up with the case it's pretty good it's pretty good don't see any 
major ugly gaps, anything like that. Actually, it sits very nicely, in my opinion, especially considering the price point. Okay, bracelet is not bad. How is the clasp? Well, it's just pressed folded metal clasp. But what's surprising about it, that actually tolerances are pretty good. It feels rather precisely made. It doesn't have too much of a wobble. That's why it also doesn't sound too cheap because there isn't too much of a movement. It's not bad, actually not bad. Yes, I still wish it was just solid milled clasp. But I mean, I can't really complain too much once you shut it off. I mean, close it up. It doesn't move too much. It's actually pretty tight. So I'm too bad, you know, don't forget the price of the watch. Not bad. Now let's do some smudging. Let's, let's take a look at the case itself. I tried cleaning it off, but I still gonna smudge it up. Okay. Finishing is actually, I can't really complain. I'm not an expert on such things, you know, polishing is nice or not. I mean, it's polished. This is polished. This is brushed. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> all I can actually, you know, tell about the finishing of this watch is actually take it in my fingers and feel it. What I can tell you is that these corners are not too sharp, surprisingly. Usually these these edges inside lugs, usually the sharpest thing, but these are not too bad. What is sharp is the very corners. The very corners are actually sharp. Now, this corner, surprisingly, actually very smooth. It has some kind of, hold on a second, let me clean it. it has some kind of polishing and the very corner is actually very nicely done. All those bottom corners also very nicely done. Overall, can't really complain about anything at all. This case feels nice to touch. Everything around the crown, no sharp edges. Actually nice, actually nice. Yes, completely fresh, untouched. But one complaint would be that this engraving usually... Hold on a second. Have they improved it? Usually on Adidas die watches, this engraving is usually pretty sharp. Hold on a second. This one is not sharp. Usually these engravings are pretty sharp. This one, I, I don't know. Hold on a second. No, I can't complain at all. They probably have improved something, but I really can't feel sharpness. Usually they feel like sandpaper. This one not bad. It's actually good. Hmm. Not bad. So yeah, finishing is actually very good. Very good finishing. Well done. Let's take a look at the loom. The controversial thing is that hands have that extra strong green loom, which initially looks stronger than that blue loom on the indexes. And I kind of wish all the loom was the same, but speaking in general, loom is actually pretty good. Now I will do a little bit differently uh, in comparison with other watches. Instead of showing you speed up video, I will actually show you pictures from the video of 20 minutes. So these are the watches. You can actually pause the video right now to read what watches do you see in the comparison. And let's begin in three, two, one. Let's turn off the lights. So first minute, that's initial loom, how it looks like. Let me quickly go through the uh, screenshots. So first minute, five minute, 10, 15, 20. I don't go more than 20 because my camera just can't see well enough in the darkness. All I can tell you that all watches that you see right now, at least a little bit on the 20 minute mark, you can actually see them in real life in the very morning. They last throughout the night, no problem. So let's play a little bit. Let's go a little bit back. And you know what? One funny thing, one funny thing. Uh, take a look at the bottom line first Pagani design, that chronograph. Now look initial loom, how strong it is. It's like, wow, amazing. Add five minutes, it's gone. <laughs> but that's funny. I, I don't know, I just find it funny. Like, look, it's amazing loom. My, five minutes, it's basically gone. Ten minutes, you can't even see that. 
<laughs> so anyway, the star of the show is the second watch on the top line. And as you can see, the Loom performance is not bad at all. It's not bad at all in comparison even to other fancier watches like Orient. It holds up just no problem whatsoever. I mean, the size of those indexes really help a lot. So, you know what? Let's do this just for fun. Choose your watch and let's jump back and forward through the screenshots. So choose the watch and turn off, turn off the lights. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. So I was actually playing with these screenshots yesterday quite a bit. So I know it's going to be rather enjoyable to compare. So first minute, five minute, first minute, five minute. The initial boost, yeah disappears quite quickly on some watches but like after you know five minute mark and 10 15 the difference isn't really that extreme especially between 10 and 20 like yeah so okay let's, let's do one once again choose the watch and the last time let's turn off the lights and let's jump through these screenshots Okay, I think that's enough. If you want to repeat that, you can always move back on the video. I just, I'm, I'm honestly just having so much fun. So here is what I'm gonna do right now. I'm in my wife's room where the sun is shining right now. It's the best room to do these kind of shots right now. So I have a mirror right there next to the window where I'm gonna give you these uh, third person view shots. Right now this watch is on its original bracelet. Also while the, while the sun is still shining, I'm gonna give you some wrist shots in the sunlight, in the shadow maybe a little bit. And I'm gonna show you all these straps. So I'm gonna go a little bit crazy and we're gonna see how this watch looks like on all of these straps. So let's begin. I think this watch looks very good on nylon straps, especially this shiny silver one. It fits the character of this watch, sort of speak, looks very cohesive. Let's try some colors. This watch is very simple in terms of colors. That's why all kinds of crazy color straps look very good with this watch. How is the red one? I like this one. This looks good. Gives some sporty feel of some kind, I would say. Even this full red nylon strap, I would say, looks really good with this watch. Very playful. Very, very nice summer watch, I would say. Oh yes, it actually looks good. I like it. Nice. Such a strap monster this watch is. Strong colors, muted colors, doesn't matter. Everything looks really good on this watch. Look at those aggressive looking keepers. They fit this watch very well in my opinion. Also blue strap on a white dial watch always is very nice, it's always very nice. How about blue perlon strap? I like these blue per not blue, I like these perlon straps in general. I think they look brilliant. I like this texture. How about the grey one? Yes, it also looks good. It also looks good. Oh, a little bit of the sun. 
nice very nice and the black one oh black looks really good with this watch black looks really good on this watch how about this one the most popular nylon strap of them all the most popular nylon strap of course it looks good of course it does the same thing but the blue blue lines this time Well, from the distance looks almost the same. Can't find the light. Oh, here's the light. Indexes have yellowish tint and hands have greenish tint. That's why I think this watch looks rather good, rather good on all green straps. Plays out together rather nicely. And it does look even better with this yellow stripe. Very comfy stripe by the way, elastic. And the sun is gone, oh well. The same thing but grey. I think it looks brilliant on this watch, really fits it well. Wow, that's nice. Oh, I like this one. I like this one. Okay, it looks really good. Oh, it looks really good. The same thing, but black with a white stripe. The same thing but blue. Blue I think looks a little bit happier. It looks happy on this watch. Looks rather playful. Okay, let's break some rules and put this diver watch on a leather strap you know what i think it looks surprisingly good surprisingly good those white stitches play out together with this white dial surprisingly good oh my god it looks so good wow i like it oh i like it it looks really good this rubber strap is my latest addition to my strap collection it was just five euros and it is surprisingly good very squishy soft super comfortable it also has holes it's very breathable wow it looks good okay how about this mesh style bracelet i think it looks surprisingly good it does look surprisingly good you know what let's start with less contrasty light oh yes oh yes it's nice it is nice it's really really nice just one extra shot 
just one extra shot. It looks good. Wow, it looks really good. How about this fabric strap? Well, it's very unoffensive. It's very comfortable. Oh, I would actually wear it like this. Oh my god, just look at this thing. Just look at this thing. Not bad. <laughs> A little bit too crazy for my liking, but it, it looks rather cool. This blue silicone strap is super comfortable. And it looks rather good on this watch, I would say. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Sorry, Alex. Sorry, could you go please? Yeah, thanks. This one, I believe, is of a smartwatch. But it wears okay. It's actually surprisingly comfortable. Comfortable. And does look okay on this watch. Now let's do something crazy and put this watch on this orange silicone strap. You know what? I actually love it. It's so playful. It's a summer beach watch right now. Oh my god, just look at this thing. In real, in person, it actually looks really good. Really good. Wow. What a nice surprise. This watch looks really good on this one. The same thing, but black. Not bad, not bad. It fits this watch. It fits this watch. This strap is actually very comfortable in water activities. Okay, the last one is this green and I love it. It looks really good. It looks really good. It's a little bit fat But I mean look at this watch. This watch is not skinny boy either <laughs> It looks surprisingly good. So playful So wow, we are at 23 minute mark right now. So <laughs> I'm sorry for this extra long video, but I'm honestly, I'm just having so much fun with this watch. That's unbelievable. The fun factor of this watch is just off the chart. It's so much fun. So where does this watch go? On my website, thomaswatchrevues.com, where I rate watches into different tier lists. It definitely goes into Keeper. So much fun for this watch. I mean, technically, it's it's a good watch. It's a pretty, pretty well-built watch. Visually, I like how it comes together this white dial plays very nicely with this metal bezel insert and this metal bezel in insert plays very nicely with this metal chapter ring chapter ring and uh, metal bezel insert they have the same shade the same brushing you saw everything the video is already too long i'm not gonna go too much into details but i mean visually it's very cohesive watch technically it's uh, also pretty good the only questionable thing is a little bit that Loom could be the same on hands on and indexes. And I do have some suggestions for not for the version two, but for let's call for the version B and C. So this is version A. I I would love to see version B with black dial. Black dial just like this with this 3D texture, but black dial and pref preferably with glossy finish. Oh, I believe that will look just insane. I would buy it. I would buy it. Now version C is the same watch with white dial, but instead of using chrome on indexes and hands, just use black paint. Black or maybe just go black full, without loom, black indexes, black hands on this white texturized dial. I believe that will look really cool i also i would buy <laughs> so i speak for myself that's what i would like to would like to see anyway a lot of fun and <laughs> thank you for watching have a nice day goodbye